Hey kids team, we're really excited about Kids Super Summer coming up pretty soon and we're really excited that you're on the team getting to serve with us and getting to serve the kids um, at Kids Super Summer and it's always a really good time. We, um, I've, I've talked to a lot of you guys over the past few weeks um, that are really excited about serving again and this may be like your second or third Kids Super Summer and it's always uh, just a really good week and we get to meet a lot of new kids and get to see them have a lot of fun and get to make these crafts and do these games and all of that and worship together and so it's always a really rewarding week and so first of all we just want to thank you um, for being willing to serve at FCC's largest event um, of the year and you know we get to welcome so many new families to our campus um, every single year for Kids Super Summer and um, so we always want that to be at the forefront of our minds whenever we're talking about um, you know just kind of kind of our expectations as volunteers and as leaders in that and so um, but thank you guys so much for doing that and so we wanted to get together um, just over video with you guys to make it easier on you all because we know summer is filled up with travel and vacations and all that um, so we didn't want to have like a everybody come in and kind of train thing because we want to make it easier on you guys so um, we're just going to take the next few minutes um, just to kind of go through the logistics of kids super summer and hopefully answer any questions that you have but if you have any questions, make sure to email us. You can email us at children at fcctn.org. A lot of you guys have our phone numbers, so just reach out and, um, and ask us questions. So um, first off, I guess we need to start with kind of the dates and everything, just to make sure we're on the same page with that. Um, Kids Super Summer is going to be July 15th through the 18th, and then we're asking volunteers to get there at 3.30 each night, and it's going to go to about 6 o'clock. And then after that, we're going to have a free family meal, which includes you guys and your families um, as well. Um, you're invited to that. Um, and so kind of be expecting that. Um, you'll get a free meal every week that, that week or every night that week. Um, but we're also going to be sitting up um, for Kids Super Summer on that Sunday before the July 14th. Um, and it'll be right after church, um, after that second service at about 12 o'clock. Um, we're going to have lunch and child care for that day. So if you all want to help decorate, um, we've got a lot of stuff to do. So you can uh, sign up for that. Um, or just tell us you can show up for that. Um, but also during Kids Super Summer, um, not only are we providing a meal for you guys, but we also have childcare each and every night. Um, so if you have little ones under the age of four that can't like get into Kids Super Summer because of our age um, limits there, then they can still have childcare downstairs in the nursery. So, um, so yeah, that's all coming up. Um, so yeah, and then our goals of Kids Super Summer, something that um, I know we talk about a lot in training um, when we get together. Um, we always like to have those goals that we um, want to sit, um, sit for ourselves in our ministries and in, in, in different events. Um, the mission and just kind of, I mean, the vision of why we have Kids Super Summer in general is just to reach out to families, um, you know, by providing interactive and fun experiences um, for their families and get them to know Jesus. And so uh, at FCC, you know, we're, we're all about getting everybody to know and follow Jesus. And so this is a, a big driver of that. Um, in our event programming every year um, with Kids Super Summer. Um, and so that's always our goal is just to get, um, you know, new families in the door um, so we can talk to their kiddos about Jesus and hopefully connect those families and parents to community um, while we have a free family meal after each night and while we want you guys and while we're going to try really hard um, to connect with those parents and, and, and kids and everything. Um, but our target audience, I always like to have a target um, for who we're kind of reaching for this. Um, and I've explained to a lot of you guys before, um, you know, my, um, my my personal like opinion about like a VBS program or whatever um, is is that maybe it's it's not the most like effective thing traditionally of getting people, new people inside the church and unchurched people inside the church. Um, but actually, FCC does an awesome job at that um, with our Kids Super Summer, our VBS equivalent of that. Um, last year, we had 60% of, of those kids that came to Kids Super Summer were actually our Shining Light families and families that were unchurched, didn't have a church home. And uh, uh, several of those families like stuck with us and, and are still coming today. And, and some of you guys that are serving actually like were a part of that group um, that you signed your kids up for Kids Super Summer last year. And then you got plugged into FCC and are now serving. So um, props to you guys on that. Um, so I've that's kind of our target with that, and I expect that we'll have just as much or maybe um, more success with that this year. So that's awesome. Um, but we also want to um, provide just a high-energy um, interactive worship experience for kids, um, and that's where you guys come in um, at that opening and closing um, ceremony, you know, the traditional worship songs and all that stuff. We want you guys, like, in the motions and doing that stuff with the kids. And as much as you can be involved, whether it be with crafts or whether it be um, with worship or games or anything like that, we want you to be really interactive with those kids um, everywhere you guys go, um, and and so um, and, you know just to make those connections um, with them, um, to also make connections with families whenever you get the chance. 
Um, and then we also want, um, you know, one of our goals is connect families to FCC or just the big C church in general. Um, and so one of the best ways we can do that, and Ali will talk about here in a minute, is like when we check in with kids, um, when they give you your, you know, your stickers and everything, you can say, hey, like, you know, I want you to come to the meal with me, come and sit by me or something like that. You know, we just always want to provide those relationships. And then finally, just to provide a welcoming atmosphere for families to get involved. Um, and so we're going to be pushing, um, we're always, you know, we're going to have all of our information out there for like starting points and things like that of how they can kind of get connected into, into the funnel of, of kind of involvement here at FCC. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to jump into the event schedule just to give you kind of an overview, a bird's eye view of what's going to go on that week. Um, first off, we're going to have check-in. So they're going to come up the main lobby um, to the adult worship centers where they'll, where everybody will enter like we've done in the previous years. Um, we're going to use our, um, our computer system. Um, uh, that we use on Sunday mornings to check everybody in. So everybody will get two tags, or they'll get three tags, excuse me. Um, one tag will go on the kids' shirt um, that'll have their name and their um, and if allergies, if any allergies on there, and then their code um, for their parent pickup. Um, and then the parent will get a, a receipt like they do on Sunday mornings with that code that matches um, their kids' code on their sticker. They'll also get another sticker that's gonna look like the one they put on the child, and so that's where you guys come in. You'll have these check-in sheets that Aaliyah has um, and so you'll put that sticker. Um, so one of them will be on there on the kids, and then the identical one that's on their kids will also go right here. So there'll be two. So one on the kid, one there, and then one given to the parent that'll have the code. Um, and so it makes it really easy on check-in because you'll automatically have a roster on there. Um, and so if you know if anything happens, like you'll have that, um, and then to keep track of kids. But at checkout. Um, what you'll do is, you know, you'll you'll look at the roster and, you know, if the code was ABC um, for Caleb, say I was the kid, and, you know, and so we just have to make sure that ABC was, you know, on my tag and then the parent receipt also says that ABC code on there. And so that's a really easy checkout, check-in system um, for that. Um, so they'll do that in the lobby and then they'll come and find you, um, find, you know, whatever their age group is, so the, you know, and that'll all be labeled in the worship center there. Um, and then you'll have your roster there uh, for the appropriate age group. You'll put the sticker down, make sure the parent knows that, and then um, you'll be good to go. So um, we'll go over all of that at the beginning of each night too, because I know that's um, in the years past, that's been the most confusing part of like training and the most questions arise. So we'll go over that again. So don't worry about it if you didn't get it that time, uh, but it's really simple, I promise. Um, and then we'll go into the um, opening program. Um, and so one of us will be on stage. Um, we'll be doing just um, you know worship time. Um, and then we'll do like a little short skit and just to kind of get the idea with the Bible lesson kind of up and started. And then we'll go to our stations. So our stations, every group will have a schedule that will tell you which station. It looks small and confusing, but once you see it in person, it's not. But um, we have Wild Bible Adventures, which will be in the student center. And that is where they were going to get the main lesson. There's like a little skit for each day. And the kids get to participate with their crews. And the small group leaders, if you are volunteering as a small group leader or have been placed as a small group leader, you are just going to be helping and guiding the kids through the lessons. We will have a host at every station and everything will be provided for you. So your goal or your your job for the day, I guess, is to help the kids just learn the lesson and really dive into what the main message is, which is God is good. And it kind of teaches them through all their life lessons. Um, so we have Wild Bible Adventures, which is in the student center. The second one is um, Imagination Station. That's kind of our craft, um, craft station, but also object lessons. So it's really cool. They're going to have object lessons like a tumble drum, um, which you will learn how to play with those. They'll have Hungry Hoopos and optical illusion stuff to kind of go with the themes for the day. And again, uh, that will be in the powerhouse uh, preteen room, which is, I guess, next to the kitchen. Right across from the student center. So in that same like education wing, I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. and we'll have <laughs> big signs and banners that'll point you to that way. Um, so you'll go to Imagination Station. And then the third one is Stampede Sports, which is right outside the preteen room, kind of near the roundabout in the grassy area. Um, and that's gonna be more sports and just physical stuff to just get more of the lesson involved there, I guess. Um, but that'll be good. And then everybody will start on a different station every day. So it's not gonna be the same. And so it'll be good. And there's gonna be three groups per station. And it's just gonna, it's just, I think it's gonna be really fun, just the way we've had it planned out. Yeah, um, and we're also gonna have um, a room for our special needs students as well. Um, that'll be in the special needs room downstairs um, where it is on Sunday mornings. Um, in room two. Um, and so that'll be close to the elevators there. Again, that's just a place um, where those kids can go if they need um, just some extra attention and things like that. So okay, that'll be um, as well. Yeah. Um, I forgot. In Inside each 
clipboard, um, there will be these little cards and it kind of gives an overview of what each day is going to be. So if you want to just kind of grab a quick overview of the lesson or if you'd want one ahead of time, let us know and we can give you a card that kind of gives the overview of the lesson each day. And then as well, um, as a small group leader, you're going to have a card that's who's who on the crew and you're going to elect each kid, um, you know, one kid per day per, per, I don't know what you'd call it. Job, job yeah. <laughs> but it'll have one as a guide where one you know one of the kids gets to help you guide through each station you'll have a kit carrier who can help you carry your where it's the bags because all the kids will be getting a bag to carry their stuff or the clipboard you'll have a prayer person one of the kids who would like to pray for the group each day um, a schedule supervisor one that'll keep you I guess on schedule and then a thank you word to make sure they're saying thank you and helping out with the hosts um, for that day yeah, it's be a lot of fun, and I, I'm really excited about that because it gives some kids some responsibility and, and and teaching them a lot of good things too. So I'm really excited. So after they go to all of those stations, um, we'll come back to the worship center where we'll have our closing session. That all of these stations will last how long? Twenty five minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Um, and so the opening and closing will last um, that long as well. And so um, in the closing session, will pretty much look pretty much like the opening session. We'll we'll do the worship song again, and then. Um, we'll kind of have a little tie-in with the lesson and the memory verse and all that stuff. Um, and then after that, that's where parents will check out, um, which we explained a little earlier how to do that. And then they'll go outside for our um, free family meal after that. And there's going to be a photo booth down there um, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And then every night um, there is a different topic. So the main topic for the whole entire Kids Super Summer is God is Good. And it's gonna teach every every day of the stages of life. Like um, the first night is when life is unfair. It's gonna teach the kids that when you get knocked over, which is like a tumble drum, the main point is to get knocked over. But the more practice you get talking to God and the more you understand God and you listen to him, God is good. Um, the second night, uh, it will be when life is scary. So you're going to, they're gonna go through different um, stations that teach you when life is scary, that you can still trust God and God is still good. Um, third night is uh, when life changes. And then fourth night is when um, life is sad. So it'll be really good. And I think it'll be really cool to because we've been going over our series and blueprints talking about kind of our different like emotions and things like that over the past few months. And so it'll be cool to kind of transition from that, which is really similar to what we're going over Kids Super Summer as well. So I'm excited. Um, OK, and then I want to go through like each individual like different way you can volunteer. Um, and then you'll be getting either a text or an email from one of us over the next uh, couple of weeks about exactly which team you're gonna be on kind of in the big overall Kids Super Summer team. Um, so first off, our first impressions people are greeting people. Um, we've got you guys um, outside on those on the steps coming up to the worship center, all the way from the parking lot and everything. Um, the big thing about that is just to make people feel really welcome. Um, make sure you know that you're talking to them um, and that you're just you know reaching out to them, high fiving kids, smiling, um, saying hello to everybody. Um, there's a stat that I always and, uh, and you all have heard before from me: um, seventy percent of people make up their mind about church before they even get in the door. Um, and so with these big outreach events like this, it's even more you know pertinent than that. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're really um, just welcoming outside especially um, and getting people to where they need to go um, since they've you know a lot of them will not have been on our campus before so um, that's a big thing um, yeah and then um, for our ch for our greeters within like the lobby there where people are checking in um, there may be long lines there um, there have been in years past um, with people checking in and on our system and everything and so make sure um, that we're talking to people in those lines to make it kind of go by a little faster and, and just asking about their summer and, and trips and, and things like that so um, for our first impressions teams, that's the big thing. Um, operations team, um, we're going to have a couple of you guys um, just making sure that everything um, is just kind of kind of cleaned up around the campus as we're going along. Um, you know, I mean, if you've been around kids at all, they drop things all the time. And um, and so we just want to make sure that everything's good to go and, and our campus is looking good. Um, so we'll have a couple of you guys doing that, help with tear down, things like that every night. Um, and then our check-in, check-out people, um, we're going to have four of you guys. So you all I'll be in the lobby there um, at the front desk. Um, and it'll all be really labeled and everybody will know where to go um, to check in and everything. The biggest thing there is to always be patient. Um, you all know about those computers and you know me with computers and so you have to be patient with me trying to figure out how to work them. Um, but they're working. We've already tested them out so they're good to go on that. Um, and just use the system that we use on Sundays. So. Oh. And so every night, um, starting at 6, we will have a family meal, and that's also you guys. You're part of our FCC family, and we are extremely thankful that you are there to help us. Um, first night, we will have chicken nuggets and McAllister's mac and cheese. 
Um, second night, we're going to have pizza. Third night, we will have hot dogs. Um, and fourth night, we will have a barbecue. And each night, we'll also have a dessert. And there's more. <laughs> child care team. Um, basically, if you are part of the child care team, you're going to have ages probably from six weeks to three years old. Um, we will have stuff down there, whether it's coloring pages, games. We'll have entertainment for the kids there, so it's not just you trying to figure it out. Um, and we will also have most of those kids pre-registered, so we will be able to know which age goes where and kind of make sure we have the uh, volunteers ready for that. Um, special needs team. We will be using a buddy system. So we will have a few special needs kids that will um, preferably stay with their age group, but we will also have a special needs room that they will go as their safe place. Um, so if they're overstimulated, if they need help getting around, or if they just need a break, um, you will be that buddy to guide them and be with them the whole time. Um, so And it just gives them that extra attention, which is kind of nice. Um, oh, and then you're done. Yeah. Um, and then we've got tech team. Um, you guys um, know far more about what you do than I could ever do. So um, just the worship center is where we're going to be um, hanging out with tech. So with the lights, the sounds, uh, pro presenter, all that stuff that y'all are good at. And then we'll have a photographer as well kind of going around doing that. Um, safety team. Um, we've got an officer coming um, just like we do on Sunday mornings. Um, he's going to be coming around and, and just making sure everybody's safe, um, ready to go. Um, and then another thing about the meals too, um, it would, that's a huge outreach for us. Um, probably one of the biggest hits of Kids Super Summer um, and how we can get families kind of plugged in. And so um, be mindful of that um, and, and try to sit with people that you've never seen before and, and, and reach out to them and get them connected. Um, but also, um, you know, we've got a meal team ready to go and Vicki is the point person on that. Um, and so she'll have everything organized down there. Um, but if she's needing new, uh, other volunteers to kind of help out um, after you get done and after all of your kids have been checked out of the group, make sure to double check with Vicki to see if she needs help before you get your meal too. So, yeah. And then small group leaders. Okay, so big thing with safety is the check-in, check-out. Um, we're going to ask that you keep these rosters inside your binder with you at all times, just so you can always make sure to keep track, especially with our four- and five-year-old groups. They are going to be a little bit larger, so we just want to make sure we have we have all the kids needed so you'll be able to keep track of how many you have versus how many are actually in the group and if one kind of snuck away or got in the wrong group. We'll also have the ages by animals, so I know kids tend to follow their animal name like the first four-year-old group or the tigers so you say tigers and so the kids will know which four-year-old group they're in um, please make sure your energy is just so excited the whole time um, these kids are actually looking forward to it we've spoken to most of these families and it's just going to be you know we've tried to pre-prep everything so your focus can be on the kids and the lesson so we just ask that your enthusiasm is just there for the whole two hours that you're with these kids um, the goal is to have 10 kids per group and about two or three small group leaders per group. So you won't be outnumbered by any means. Um, right now we have four, two four-year-old groups and two five-year-old groups. Um, and then right now just one first through fifth, um, one of those. So we'll have nine groups total. Um, and then leaders of that group. We have a host for each station. So you will not need to have a lead leader for that group. All small group leaders will be equal in responsibility. Um, so we just ask maybe one person when leading the groups, one stands in the front, one in the back, one on the side, just to keep them corralled. Um, we think that's best for the kids and for all the leaders too. Um, focus on the kids. I think that's going to be the most important. This is about them. It's about learning about God and just the main message for them. And it's to get them excited and to want them to just come back and keep, just keep learning about Jesus and really knowing what he's done for us. And then the stations, again, like I said, they're all pre-prepped. So the interaction with the kids and you guys are going to be, you're, you're going to be there. You're not going to have to worry about gluing things together or piecing things together. Your focus will be to help them with all the activities that we have. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. And let's flip through here. Okay. So um, that's pretty much the gist of Kids Super Summer. Um, just some expectations. Um, again, uh, we're going to repeat ourselves here. Um, is just to be there at 3.30 each night. I know that's um, a stretch for some people, but just try to use that as kind of a, a guidepost, I guess. If you can get as close to 3.30 as you can, that's going to be a big help um, just to get prepared and, um, and to help get kids kind of wrinkled into their groups. Um, be prepared, um, you know, just with watching this training video. Um, that'll, that'll give you a huge leg up when you get to Kids Super Summer, um, just so you'll know kind of what to expect um, on that level. Um, so we'll be doing the same thing um, each night of Kids Super Summer. So after you get, you know, done with that first night, you'll, you'll get in the groove of it. 
Um, and then all of the materials that you're going to need are in the email that is attached to this video. And so this video and then um, as well as the motions to um, the songs, which we're in and they're very entertaining. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, really embarrassing. Um, and then, um, like I said, just like learn the names of kids in your groups, learn the names of their parents in your groups. Um, if we can just really focus on relationships with both families and kids, um, then that's how we get connected to people um, and get connected people into, into Christ church. And so um, that's, that's our main focus. Um, always participate in worship, crafts, games, all that stuff. Be really interactive. Be really energetic throughout it all. Um, and, you know, we've said this before, like during worship, you know, if you're doing the motions, like they're going to do the motions too, especially you guys. Um, you know, the boys are always like really hesitant to do those motions and, and to really like let go with worship um, a lot of times. And so if, if they see like us just really like going all out, um, they're going to see that that's important to you. And so that's awesome. Um, and then follow the safety and security um, policies that we've laid out. Uh, most of you guys have went through that training as well. Um, the biggest thing is to never be alone with a child at any time. Um, there always has to be two adults, um, you know, just around um, all at all times um, with the kids. Um, even if you're in a big group of kids, like there always has to be those two adults. Um, and then the bathroom procedures, um, that's kind of the big one. Um, if a, child, if a child needs to go to the bathroom, you need to find another adult, escort them to the bathroom, let them go in by themselves, and then you two wait outside um, and then escort them back. Um, and so try to get as many kids to kind of go together, I guess, too, um, in that. And so, but we just want to protect you guys. And that's, so that's kind of the biggest safety and security thing. Um, but have fun with your group, too. Like, it's Kids Super Summer. Um, kids have been looking forward to this. Families have been looking forward to this. And so they're wanting to have fun, and we're going to have fun. It's going to be great. Um, but, yeah, um, I think that is the big... Um, kind of the big gist of it. Um, we're really excited about you guys coming. Yay. And um, just to remind you about the dates, once again, um, Sunday, July 14th is our decorating and our prep day. It's going to be right after the 11 o'clock service. We're going to have lunch and child care for that if you want to hang out with us. Um, and then July 15th to the 18th is actually Kids Super Summer. And again, 3.30 to about 6 o'clock um, that evening for those four nights. We'll have a free meal for you and child care. But um, we can't wait. We're really excited about it. And thank you again for serving. And we couldn't do this without you. Um, so we'll be praying for you. Be praying for your kiddos and your groups already. Um, and so that Christ could just work through us uh, to do amazing things this week. So thank you guys. Yay, thank you.